The Mustard Seed Media video podcast is sponsored and created by Mustard Seed Media Inc., creating and developing media and web for tomorrow's Christian ministries. On the web at mustardseedmedia.com. Okay, so let's open up Drupal.org and let's do a little CMS magic. Okay, so let's start with this Photoshop document here and let's turn this thing into a website. Let's get right down to it and edit some CSS, shall we? Welcome to the Mustard Seed Media video podcast. My name is Bob and this is the podcast for Drupal web designers. Sometimes in Drupal, the easiest things get a little bit difficult, don't they? Especially if we want those things to be really flexible. With events in Drupal and event calendars in Drupal, this is very true. Namespaces are very uh, powerful things in Drupal. So when we see a module called the event module, we immediately go, well, of course, let's just install it and use it for events. And the event module is just fine. It's a good module. Its philosophy is just a little bit different that I personally look for in a module. Its philosophy is basically that you enable the module and it does everything for you. It creates a calendar, it creates a content type, uh, it sets up all these blocks and does all of this stuff. And in my opinion, that's not really the Drupal way. Drupal is much more like a set of Legos where you have all of these pieces and you put them together one at a time and you make them do just what you want it to do. This makes uh, your approach and your solution very flexible and very customizable when it comes down to it because you're controlling all the different pieces. So instead of using event module, which basically does everything for you, we're gonna use calendar module and date module and views module to build uh, a, an event calendar that we have control over every single piece of it. So let's do that. Uh, the other piece that it requires is views also. This is a very views driven uh, solution. And in my opinion, that makes it uh, a good solution for a really long term approach uh, that's gonna last a very long time into the future. So let's dive in and create a simple event calendar using calendar module. So the first thing that we're gonna download is calendar module. We're also gonna download date module and we're gonna have to have CCK installed and views installed and probably most of you have both of those installed anyway. Now let's talk about what each of these pieces does. Calendar module in and of itself is really just a display module. It's more or less a views plugin with a couple of extra features and uh, more or less it handles the display of your content. You're going to use CCK to create your content type and views is going to power the calendar module and then date module just handles all your date fields and make sure Drupal understands that it's a date and what to do with it. So in doing this, the first thing we're going to do is just create a content type using CCK. This is different than event module, which creates a content type for you. We're just going to call it event and we're going to save it. And then we're going to set up a few options on this. Uh, and we're going to go to actually, we're going to go to manage fields first and we're going to uh, set up our date field. And this is where date API does its thing. You'll see that there's three different choices you can have. These are all different ways that it stores the date in the database. We're going to choose date time. And we chose a nice little pop-up uh, in the module setup uh, in the modules that we chose to be able to use a pop-up calendar when we're choosing dates. So we're going to configure this date field. Uh, we're going to set up our format. You can set how many years backwards and forwards you allow people to choose dates. You can set up the time increment. Uh, do you want people to only be able to choose dates on the half hour? Then you choose 30 minutes. We can make this field required. We can also have a two date uh, if we want to say uh, an event starts at one time and ends at another time. Uh, we can choose whether people just choose dates that are uh, days, months, years, hours, minutes, or even down to the second. We're going to go ahead and save that. So now let's go ahead and create an event. This will just be our test event. We're going to put in a description, which is very descriptive. And then we're going to choose our dates. We have that nice little pop-up calendar. I'm going to choose a from date and a to date. Obviously, if you had enabled the times and stuff, you could have times in here. And we're going to save it. Now let's go in and we're going to go into views. And you'll see that calendar module actually provides you a view called calendar. And you would think, oh, I just enable that and we're good to go. The only problem is what you actually have to do on this is you have to tell it which date field to use because it doesn't know about your content type. 
So we're going to edit that. And the only thing that we're going to change under arguments is the date. We're going to click on that. And we're going to choose, go all the way down to the bottom, and we're going to choose our content date. This is our date field uh, that we set up in our content type. And uh, don't get confused, you have date field uh, value 2. This is going to be your 2 date, but you want the first one, which is your from date. And we're going to update that. And we're going to save it. And this, uh, by default, builds a view at slash calendar. So let's go there. And there is our event. This is our from date. This is our to date. And we'll see that we even have a nice little pop-up because we enabled that option. And that's it. It's pretty simple, but it's very flexible. Uh, a very flexible way to build dates uh, and calendars and events using calendar module. Uh, if you have any questions on this, head over to mustardseedmedia.com slash podcast. And don't forget to check out my other audio podcast over at geeksandgod.com. That's it for this week. We'll see you next week on the Mustard Seed Media video podcast.